Hello everyone, I just thought I'd talk a little bit about the spiders I've been finding during the month of September. Uh, I suspect a lot of people have been finding the same things, but it might be helpful to compare notes. Um, the thing about September is it's been a very dry month. Uh, this is the soil moisture chart from uh, the Center for Ecology and Hydrology. And you can see that for August and September, uh, we really haven't had much rain at all. Well below the blue uh, above average and, and getting on for about 50% of the average rainfall. Uh, and you can see the last the last month or so the the rain has gone the, the rainfall has gone down and down now the irony of this is that as i'm recording this it's pouring with rain outside so i think this situation go is going to correct itself but um it has undoubtedly affected the spiders i've been finding on trips this month and one of the most common species I've been finding, no surprise, at this time of year is Linifea triangularis. I like to call it the tuning fork spider because of this characteristic mark on the uh, carapace. Um, and uh, these spiders are everywhere um, out there at the moment. They hang upside down off their hammock webs. And if you go out early in the morning when the dew picks the webs out, you can see the webs absolutely everywhere. Loads and loads of these around, as there should be in September. Uh, another very common species out there at the moment is Metalina segmentata. Um, I've found these on every trip that I've been on this month. Um, the bad news about these is this is the species that we would expect to find at this time of the year. But last week um, we did turn up a Metalina mengii as well. So you can't absolutely rely on the time of year. You do have to check them all. Now these two are both males. Um, so these are fairly easy to check. You just look at the hairs on the underside of the front tarsus on the front leg. doesn't work for females but for males. And if they're very short, they're much shorter than the spines, then uh, it's segmentata. If the hairs here are around the same length as, um, or, or, or getting on for the same length as the spine, then it's Metalina mengii. So you'll find a lot of those out there. I've also found a lot of Narinis this month. I've found some Narini clathrata, uh, some, some Narini montana rather, but mostly uh, it's been Narini clathrata. And again, these are very common out there on uh, vegetation. So nothing uh, very exciting so far, uh, and sadly, uh, nothing very exciting for the whole month, really. Um, and the reason is, uh, everything else I've found, and I've looked at a lot of spiders this month, uh, has been juveniles. So here we've got a juvenile nursery web spider, easy to identify from this pale stripe um, down the carapace. But nevertheless, this is one of the offspring of the uh, uh, females that were running around with those egg sacs uh, a month or so back. Um, but now everything else, uh, a lot of the linifeids I've found, they've all been juveniles, not been possible to identify them. Uh, but with the rainfall we're getting this week, I think the situation is going to correct itself. And I'm looking forward to October because I think the spidering uh, has been, will be a lot more interesting. Hope to talk to you again soon.